Okay, I wanted to take another look at uh, CERN here. Outside of CERN, there's a statue of a mythological god called Shiva, which comes from India. Uh, interestingly enough, Shiva, if you read about it, is the destroyer. Um, Shiva is the Hindu equivalent of Saturn, um, which would be Yahweh in the Hebrew. Um, it's interesting, you know, we have to stop and look and say, well, why, why would they put this particular statue outside of such a powerful and menacing machine? Unless it's what they wanted to do. We need to learn to look at symbols and understand that that's a language that they used in between them. And when you learn to understand their symbols, you understand their language. And it helps you understand what they're doing um, somewhat and where they're coming from. So here we have a machine that is potentially dangerous. Um, it costs billions of dollars. It's 16 miles in diameter. Um, and its name is out of mythology. It took me a while to find that. That's not easily found, but I did find it and I think you'll be pleased with the uh, results that I've come up with because it ties us all together. Um, they are not fl playing s fair or square with us. Um, I want you to look at the wall. Uh, look off to the left hand or to the left hand side of the screen. Look on the wall which becomes a cube. You see where the corner is? You see the shadow creates the eye? See it? Upper left hand corner. I'll blow it up for you. Hang on. See it? Right there? Interesting. So they got the shadow positioned on the edge of the corner of the building, which creates a cube, and now you see the eye. Now, if you think that's by, by, by coincidence, um, at some point you have to look and realize that there are no coincidences. There's just evidences, and this is one of them. This is positioned. The lighting is exactly the, exactly the way it's supposed to be. Um, you know, the real question is, what are they hiding? What are they really doing? I can assure you that this planet is directly attached to Saturn. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, in further videos coming, I'll show you where that evidence comes from. Um, right now, I'm just trying to get you acclimated to pretty much everything goes back to Saturn. And this is why. Because even as the Jews say, Saturn is heaven unto this earth. Because there's connection. And I'll get into that in later videos. But I'm just trying to show you right now that this is there's this, this whole hidden thing from people they have no idea and you can see it right here you have a statue of the destroyer and then you have them mimicking of the shadow to create the eye in the cube which again is Saturn so let's let's look at some writing that I found let's see what that says so Saturn Shiva and Jehovah were the same spirit so we have Saturn Shiva and Jehovah Jehovah is the Hebrew which is really Phoenician which means Saturn. As you can see here, uh, it's always the same thing. It's always the destroyer. And so we have to we have to wonder what is it that they're doing? Why is this so important to them that this thing is just this malevolent, hideous thing? You know, uh, the Bible says that there are clearly those that are here that are not human. Okay, I'm not pushing an alien agenda, but there are things Jesus said of Himself. There are those that look like men and die like men, but are not men. So we're, we're dealing with something interdimensional um, of great significance. Let me bring up the next bit here. Um, let's see. I like this part here. If you read it, it said, Shiva, Lord, um, I can't pronounce the word, had freed Saturn from his prison. So here we have something that's messing around with time, the CERN, the CERN Collider. Yeah, right. The, the CERN time machine um, that's trying to lose Saturn. Um, I'm getting that in later videos, but that's a very interesting piece of information. That Saturn is free. And the Bible says Saturn will be loosed for a short season. Okay, are we talking about the same thing? I think there's something going on here. Well, once again, it just says Shiva, Lord Hanumana had freed Saturn from his prison. So what are they doing? Are they using this thing to, to pop a hole in space? Or to create a, 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 a gate? Something, something to Saturn? Again, I wanted you to take a look at the center of this thing. You see it? It's a, it's a 
uh, I believe it's an octagon or maybe ten sided, but it's got the X in the center with the circle, so now we have the circle and the square. Um, it it mean, leads me to believe that, you know, this thing that they're doing with time, if they're either trying to stop it or recreate it or, or something, you know, and if this is the case, why don't they just tell us the effing truth? Stop playing around. Just tell us what you're doing. Or have they already done it and they can't fix it? See, the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, in Ecclesiastes in the Bible says, what was will be, and what is was, and will be again. And there's nothing new under the sun. And it goes on to say, to everything, turn, turn, turn. Well, that's, that's the time cube. They're referring to the planet Saturn because to our time is set in relation to that, which is as above, so below. Okay? So, you just, I just, I'm just throwing that out there, you know, what, what is it that they're hiding? What really, what really went wrong? Here, here's, you know, here's another shot of it. Uh, I believe this is, a, this is a six or an eight set, but I can't tell because of the way the shot was taken. Um, but it's the two familiar colors, red and blue. Now we both, you know, uh, understand that, you know, red is space and blue, or red, red is time and blue is space. So, you know, why are they using these color combinations, you know, time and space, and, they're te and then they're telling you we're trying to, sp to split atoms. For what, for what reason? For what reason do you need to spend that kind of money to split an atom? You know what? I don't really give a rat's ass about the atom that started the whole thing. They probably do because they're trying to recreate the beginning. They don't want to know how it happened. They want to know how to recreate it. You know, this 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 whole thing. They're trying to recreate something. Um, because they don't want to tell us the truth. What they have done is they told us a bunch of stories through bullshit religions and wrote, you know, encoded messages and things like that. They don't want you to know the truth until it's too late. You know, that's uh, the Hebrews call us goyim. That means cattle. Now, is that because we're stupid or is that because maybe there's something from somewhere else that you know, they call us consumers. Well, we may not be the only ones in the universe. I'm just saying there's something really funky about all of this. Okay, so here's what I found at CERN when I had to do some mythology. So go ahead and read it. It's actually pretty interesting stuff. Especially the last bit. Considering we're dealing with Saturn. So this is interesting. Sun rises up from the ground, huh? From the underworld and becomes the god of this world. Very interesting, very revealing. And reigns in his place on earth. Now th this is this is e exceedingly bizarre and kind of scary. So this thing comes up from underground and, and, and becomes the sun. So basically it's coming from the underworld and becomes the sun, which is telling me, we're talking encoded, you know, something from the dark becoming the god of this world. You know, that sounds uh, biblical, uh, anti-Christ anti, uh, type of stuff. I'm sure you can follow it. So let's take a look. Let's take another look at this uh, Shiva, the destroyer. Um, I don't, you know, I don't like the connotation attached to it, and what's coming up, what you're about to see, I don't like even more, because this certain individual was up where the Nor, where the Norway spiral went off, receiving the Nobel Peace Prize for doing absolutely nothing. You know who I'm talking about, right? We're talking about the the president of the United States of America. They gave him a Nobel Peace Prize for doing absolutely nothing. A month after he was in office, I believe. Um, but Newsweek, once again, Newsweek, they had to cover the story and they had their own little twist on it. And in a second you're going to see it. And it's uh, uh, CERN came up and became the god of this world, right? Um, just take a look at this. Hmm. So now the president, not only is he the president of the United States, but he's the god of all times. 
So he's got, let's see, he's got aviation, he's got money, he's got housing, he's got the world, he's got, you know, this, guys, these things are not done as jokes. They're not done as funny little quips. You know, they're done because they're telling you the truth. There's something very funky going on here and very scary. And whether you wake up or not, there's nothing that we can do about it. But at least we, you know, if we're going to be marched off to be slaughtered, at least we, we had our eyes open when it happened. Why do you think they made this? No. Okay? Don't you think that the people that printed this knew this? They had to know that because if you go back and it says CERN comes up and becomes the goddess world, which is Shiva, which is Saturn, and then they got this guy in the same pose. This is not a joke. All of this fits together nicely. And people just walk right by the newsstands and they don't go, what the, you know, what the F is this? See, this is why mankind has gotten himself in trouble because nobody pays attention. This isn't a joke. This is for real stuff. You know, this isn't made by The Onion or, you know, uh, The Inquirer. Newsweek is a big magazine, and they're all tied in. Get that through your head. They're all in on it. Okay, so this thing, this thing represents Saturn, okay, the destroyer. Notice the circle? That represents time. If you look on the inside where the head is, those, are the, those would be the rings of Saturn, okay, that are coming off where the head is. But let's look at something else that's more revealing. And it's going to bleed into it right about now. But if you look, what is, what is it standing on? It's standing on the back of a human being. Okay? What is that signifying? What is, what is the symbolic meaning of that? It means that mankind is being held down by Saturn, which is the god of time and space. You're trapped. You ain't getting up. You ain't getting out. That's, what's, that's what it's telling you. And I'm going to show you something from another real famous BS uh, establishment. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, I believe in Jesus Christ. I do. I, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I have a problem with religion because it, the word religion means to restrain or refrain or to hold back or tie down. In other words, it's meant to keep you an imbecile. Okay? So let's take a look, let's take a look at something else that's coming up here. Okay, this is going to bleed into it right here, and it'll start. Here we have the Pope, or as I like to call him, Count Chocula. Um, I don't know which one he is, Count Chocula the 14th, or I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's nothing holy about anything to do with that that thing. I want you to look at the, the, the crucifix. You see Jesus on there? This is called the bent cross. You see how it's it, 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 it's drooping? Okay, it, it's also warped from the other side. Now, you understand the word warped? What is warp referring to? It's referring to time. What this is signifying is that man is, is stuck because it's the cross, it's an X. All the crucifix is, it's not a religious symbol for Christians. It is an X on its side with an elongation. So, in other words, when they crucified Jesus, they put him on the cross, but it's really an X. You had to make one side longer so that it would stand up. Something would be anchored in the dirt. And so when they, when they crucified him, they crucified him to Saturn. And so what this is representing is they, they, hung him on, they hung him on their symbol, which is the god of time and space, and that's, that's Saturn, i.e. Satan. Okay? So there's, look, look at what else he's got. Look at, look at where his tie is. See that? You fold those over, it becomes a cube. Look at his hat. If you draw a line down the middle and come at 45 degree angles and connect them, you've got a cube from a corner.